Hello and welcome to the channel. It is no secret that a lot of Nigerians do not approve of President Bola Ahmed Tinubu. Many believe the mandate he sits on is not even his. Quite a few would want someone else in his position. To put it into contest, as ratings go, Tinubu, of all democratically elected president in Nigeria since 1999, as the least percentage of votes cost in an election. <laughs> that sums it up. So what does a president who knows he is not well accepted by the people he wants to govern do? Fight for legitimacy. Will he get it though? Subscribe, like, share, and comment. Thank you. President Ebola Ahmed Tinubu. A government in search of legitimacy. Nigeria's problem is not its people or what some will call the cause of the black man. The problem is simply a leader that will put aside religious, ethnic and other primordial sentiments to build a unified nation of one purpose, goal and prosperity. In other words, to build a nation of patriotic Nigerians. You cannot say you love Nigeria and be destroying properties that belong to the commonwealth. You cannot say you love Nigeria and be killing and napping your fellow Nigerians. You cannot say you love Nigeria and be stealing what belongs to everyone. That is the dilemma the nation is facing. Having a leader who can bring together all of these contending forces and project their combined strength to the whole world. That is basically our challenge. We have had so many pretenders to the throne. When you scratch their surfaces, their true being begins to emerge. This country will never attain its true potentials if we fail to face the truth and confront it. We must know our true history. Where are we coming from? The obstacles on our way and how we can overcome them. The world is very apprehensive of the potentials that this nation carries which when harnessed will shift the paradigm of our global standing. But it is a matter of when, as it will surely happen. You cannot pull back the hands of time. Nigeria is already a great nation when viewed from the performance of those of us in the diaspora world. Very soon, they will have to find their way home. Bola Hakmet Tinubu is presently the president of Nigeria and he is taking so many decisions that seem to resonate well with the people. However distasteful this might be, the people seem to understand the purpose for it. They are smiling in pain with hope for a better future. He is creating the impression that he is equal to the task. He said we should not pity him as he was the one that asked for the job and campaigned for it. He has taken so many decisions in so short a time with the military tradition of immediate effects. But one cannot help but ask this compelling question. What is propelling President Tinubu to take these bold decisions that his predecessors quietly sidestepped throughout their ten years? Is he trying to convey a message to the citizens? Are they born out of genuine and heartfelt concern for the pitiable condition of this nation? Is it to get back at elements that have been cogs in the wheel of his attempt to attain its lifetime ambition. In other words, is he merely exhibiting hubris, which is naked power? With the battle for the presidency still in the arena of our courts, is he doing all of these to win the sympathy of the people and thereby conferring his government with legitimacy status? The last question is very relevant, given the circumstances under which he won the election. Winning one-third of the votes as against the two-thirds of the combined opposition, which in reality is telling us that the people who voted against Tinubu in the elections were more than those who voted for him, a situation that was necessitated by the divisions in the opposition camps. Whatever it is, he should be encouraged to go through with it to get the desired result. This is because... Some of us are beginning to wonder if it will not be the usual flash in the pan. After a while, everything settles down and we all go back to business as usual. That will be the challenge of the Tinubu government. 
We are worried because of the manner his government stood behind the candidacy of God's will Akbar Bio, our Senate president. A man with so much controversy surrounding him. Akbar Bio is an intelligent man and did well as governor, but his handling of the Niger Delta ministry leaves much to be desired. We are hoping that the patriotic side of him will be deployed while he serves as Senate president. The arrests and detention of Godwin Emefile, Governor of the Central Bank and Abdul Rashid Bawa, Chairman of the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission EFCC, have already sparked orgasmic pleasure amongst some people. But beyond the euphoria, we must be clear on the motives for the arrests. It must be free from revenge and victimization. All of these must be done transparently. You do not remove a sitting central bank governor without a transparent investigation. Why is the Directorate of State Security, DSS, doing the investigation? Will President Bola Tinubu have the guts to probe the behemoth and NPC with its powerful subsidiaries, opaque modes of operations, sometimes working at cross-purposes with other key agencies of government to the detriment of the nation's well-being? Have we actually looked at the areas of leakages, especially in the NNPC? Some of us are of the position that we should have sorted out these leakages of revenue before the hurriedly withdrawn fuel subsidy. Yes, because the figures that have been bandied about by the NNPC all of these years cannot be accepted as the true picture. Some are also of the opinion that we are losing revenues from the operations of the NPA, NIMASA, Customs and other revenue generating agencies of the federal government. First, let us block these leakages and see what we can generate from there. Subscribe, like, share, comment, and please turn the notification bell on. Thank you. We should also pay attention to our civil service operations, including the National Assembly. Every agency of government must be made to cut costs. It is not every time that you resort to imposing taxes on the people for a few corrupt people to free tie away. The businesses and citizens have suffered so much. Imposing taxes on the people is not always the solution to our problems. We must first create the enabling environment for businesses to thrive and create jobs. For Tinubu to succeed, this must be extended to our military architecture and processes. Without peace, there cannot be development anywhere. We must set key performance indices for military leaders and make it a condition for their retention. There must be no sacred cow. Finally, we can see many of those who put us in this situation lobbying to become top officials of the Tinubu government. You must avoid this banana peel. Leopards do not change their spots. Allow the corrupt old brigades to stay away. The Tinubu government can attain legitimacy if it truly follows through these reforms to its logical conclusion. That's the news, guys. Thanks for listening. Until next time, bye.